In previous videos, we covered the basic principles of net present value and creating a marginal abatement cost curve, also known as a MAC. Now, you'll apply these principles to compile a MAC for a Taslandian company. In the Carbon 101X Part 4 Practical Activity, you'll be presented with four projects that your company is considering investing in. For each project, you will conduct a net present value and marginal abatement cost curve analysis. We'll now work through an example for Swanson Mountains Management Group, a service and infrastructure provider from Tasland's premier ski destination. Swanson Group is considering several options to reduce its energy use and ultimately its carbon footprint. In order to choose which projects to invest in, it's important to understand the lifetime cost and marginal benefit, that is value for money, of each option. Let's start with the lighting retrofit project. First, we'll use net present value, or MPV, to determine the lifetime cost or profitability of the project. There are two ways to calculate MPV, manually using this formula, or in Microsoft Excel using the built-in MPV formula. Excel is most commonly used in the real world due to its ease and efficiency. In this practical exercise, we will use a simplified Excel formula. First, we need to define the interest rate in order to factor the time value of money into our financial appraisal. This is commonly the market interest rate, which reflects the cost of borrowing money from banks and other financial institutions. In our example, the interest rate is 8%, which should be entered in as 0.08. Next, we need to know the net annual cash flow of the project, which is the difference between the project's financial benefits and operating costs. Don't worry if you forget any of this. You'll find guidance in the drop-down hints below each item. Now, in the case of the lighting retrofit, we'll calculate the net annual cash flow by subtracting the operating cost, which is $200, from the expected annual savings, which is $2,000. Therefore, the project's net annual cash flow is $1,800. So, we know how much money the project could save Swanson Group each year, but for how many years would the project deliver this financial benefit? Clearly, we need to factor in the project lifetime into the MPV analysis. In this case, the new light bulbs have an expected lifetime of five years, after which a new investment would be needed in order to replace or upgrade the lights. So, the lighting retrofit project lifetime is five years. The final part of the net present value formula is capital cost, which is $2,500. Now that we've entered all the project data in the MPV input fields, the MPV is automatically calculated below. Next we'll use the calculated MPV to work out the marginal abatement cost of the lighting retrofit. This metric tells us the per tonne cost of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, much like knowing the cost per litre of fuel or the cost per kilogram of cheese. The marginal abatement cost metric is important for comparing the value for money of potential projects. Marginal abatement cost is calculated using this formula. MPV divided by total abatement multiplied by negative one. We've previously determined the MPV of the lighting retrofit. Next, we need to know the project's total abatement, that is, the emissions reduction the project delivers over its lifetime. This is given by the annual emissions reduction multiplied by the project lifetime. In our lighting retrofit example, we're given both of these values. So, we would multiply 35 tonnes of annual CO2e savings by five years. Therefore, our total abatement is 175 tonnes of CO2 equivalent. For some projects, you won't know the annual emissions reduction up front, so you'll need to calculate this figure before working out the total abatement. The emissions calculation skill was covered in part 3 of Carbon 101X. After you input the MPV and total abatement information, the marginal abatement cost will be calculated for you. Remember, a negative cost is actually a financial gain. So, now we've finished the analysis for our first project. We'll do the same thing for the rest of the projects that Swanson Group is considering. Once completed, all of the projects will be plotted on a marginal abatement cost curve, or MAC, like the one you see here.
This map graph provides a visual representation that helps us to compare, rank and prioritise the abatement options. Now that we've finished our example for Swanson Group, it's your turn to compile a marginal abatement cost curve for another Taslandian company. Good luck.